Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Makakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe. Preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird. Preaching this word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And I say Shalom to your Akim out there. And this is a uh, sit-down lesson for November the 24th, 2021, on this uh, Wednesday night. And I'm going to bring out this uh, In The News article right here. And it says, uh, this is from uh, almonitor.com. And the title of the highlight of this news article in the, in the news it's a Iran linked mili military calls up thousands of volunteers to fight against US forces a IRGC a linked armed faction in Iraq has urged men across the country to take up arms against any U.S. forces men remaining after December 31st, claiming that they had received tens of thousands of calls from citizens willing to help. And it says a little more than a month prior to the uh, officially end to the U.S. combat mission in Iraq. In Iran, link armed groups uh, has called for volunteers to fight any forces remaining in the post midnight uh, December 31st deadline. A name known as Aba Al Walai, commander of uh, the camp, Sabi Sali Al Shadar. KSS of November the 19th announced a call for volunteers to fight the U.S. occupation should troops fail to leave. It says the U.S. President Joe Biden has in July uh, announced at the meeting with the Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa al Khalim uh, that U.S. forces on our right will continue to train to exist to help and deal with the Islamic State, but they, but they say they would no longer be by the end of the year in combat mission. Uh, the KCC spokesman, uh, Shahid Karim Al Fortasi, claimed to the Al Monitor on November the 24th that so far we already have 45,000 calls from the would-be volunteers for the post-December fight against the U.S. forces should they remain in the country. It says, we also received calls from organizations that also wants to join each of its has about 1,000 to 1,500 people, he said. Some used to fight alongside the popular Shiite Clarice Mutal Matada Al Sadir, while others fought in the past against ISIS. It says, uh, uh, he said that they have received several requests from women who also wants to volunteer, but we don't usually accept this sort of request. Right, makes sense because it's a it's a man's war, you know, not women supposed to be involved with. It. it says the off unlike the United States. Uh, back to back to the article reading the offer he said has nonetheless left our spirits. The KCC was formed in 2013, initially fighting alongside Syrian government forces against armed opposed groups there. They been, began fighting against ISIS in Iraq starting in 2014. The groups has historical links to the Qat TV, Hezbollah, and Iran Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, the IRGC. 
the KSS fighters just across the Iraqi border in Syria has been targeted in the last two attacks over the past year by U.S. forces. In February, the first known offense, offense uh, military action taken by Joe Biden administration declaredly in retaliation from rocket attacks on base hosts international forces added in general it says both attack both attacks kills the Kate SS fighters whose bodies were brought back into Iraq through the Quam border crossing in Iraq's western Enbar Enbar Providence the Kata the Katalibi Hezbollah has a heavy presence in that border area as well. The fighters from the Mukwawama, uh Iranian led region resistance factions interviewed in Quain. If I pronounce that right, sometimes I can't pronounce these words right. Salakia for that. By this journalist in previous years who regularly cross into the Syrian claim that they were protecting Iraq, even if they were on the other side of the border, the KSS spokesman stressed that we are not hostile to non Iraqis. We are understanding the importance of having good relationship with other countries. Meanwhile, as reported, the Al Hindan media outlet and Iranian delegation met on November the 24th with the head of the Iraq Judicial uh, Counselor Farik Zadin on the investigation of what is called the airport crime. The airport crime refers to the January third 2020 assassinations of Iraqi former Dep deputy popular mobilization unit the PMU commander uh, Abdul Mahdi uh, Mahdi's and Iranian general Qasim Sal Salamin VIA drone strike just outside of Baghdad airport the how the Al Haddad TV is run by Absab Al Aqui, the AAH, another Iran linked group of the Moscowim, Moscowima, AAH, like the KKS, uh, has units within the government and corporation, the PMU. It was, however, designated a foreign terrorist organization by the U.S. State Department in January 2020. In recent days, the Ahirs, the Al Hadi, Al Hadi uh, social media accounts, having focused a great deal also on student processes in uh, the Salam Maya. Uh, in the Kurdistan, Kurdistan uh, region of Iraq, the KRI uh, railing against the international community money allegedly being monopolized by the two main families in the region with little spent on the population and its needs. Many Sunni Arabs uh, sought refuge in the KRI during the uh, IS occupation of their land and some have remained. The Iraqi Kurdish and the Sunni Arab communities in the countries have grown closer. In the uh, recent yeah, in Right, uh, in the recent years where friction remains between much of the Sunni Arab communities and Iran blank armed groups who continue to occupy areas such as the entire town of Jarf Jarf al Sarkar 
now known as the Jarif al-Nasar, the population which are still displayed in many years after the IS was pushed out. It says the PMU commanders has told this journalist in previous years that the local population will never be allowed to return to the towns in the in the Bali Providence due to its uh, location near the Shiite holy cities in the Kabara, uh, to which millions make uh, preliminary just every year and possible security risks. The United States currently have forces in Baghdad at the Ain al-Assad Air Base in the Sunni Air Providence in Andar Anbar, I believe. And at a base in the KRI region, the capital Irbar in al-Assad was targeted by a major Iranian missile attack in January 2020, which was last year of January. Shortly after the U.S. drone killing of Salami and Masadis, the AAH and the KSS were both accused early this year of, of involvement in the attack February on the Arbil, Arbil International Airport adjustments to the base and on resident areas in the city. In recent weeks, an apparent dis this move showing by the PMU link FATA alliance in October 10th. Elections and claims over voter fraud led to protests in Baghdad that were supported by the Iranian backed army and political factions. And the FATA alliance lost a few dozen seats in the prime Palermo. Polarement through results are not yet final, and some accounts are underway. At least two protesters were killed, and are reportedly killed, and a hundred amongst protesters and security forces were injured in the clashes during the protests during the time. Afterwards, the assassination attempt were preparatory against the Iraqi Prime Minister. Oh, I remember that, yeah. The assassination attempt with the drone, yeah. Which no group has taken responsibility leading to the spike in tensions. And it says, November the 7th, the drone attack on Kahamid's presidents reportedly injured several of his bodyguards. But he went on a television shortly afterwards to say that he was fine. The K. SS spokesman, <coughs> yeah, excuse me. The Fur Furtasis claimed that the attack on the Prime Minister home has been staged, calling it a charade to silence the civilians who died as a result of an attack in the demonstrations against the voter results. He also stated that his groups also have evidence of the United States tampering with the elections and that the results should be canceled. On November 23rd, the uh, U.S. Embassy in Baghdad issued a travel advisory updating ur or urging uh, its citizens to avoid all travels Iraq due to terrorism, kidnapping, armed conflict, civil unrest, and the sea word. 19, if you know what I mean, and the missions Iraq limited capability capacities to provide support. And the lieutenant called Joe Harper as a spokesperson for the U.S. led international coalition noted an email to Al Monitor on November 24th that at the invitation of the Republic of Iraq, the coalition is completing its transition to a non to a non-combat mission and will soon operate in Iraq and advise assist in unable role on November 4th, which passed a couple weeks ago. This is parties of the coalition and the Iraqi military discussed the status 
of the transitions during their military technical talk and that they have noted the success devicements uh, during the proceed, proceedings of more than 1,800 armed guns, trucks, cranes, water trucks, and other vehicles will be, I mean, will has increased the ISF mobility and capability, I mean, and capacity to protect the state, the citizens of Iraq from IS. He added that the next military technical talks is currently scheduled for December the 9th on 2021 and it's also retain the rights to defend coalition and partner part of forces against any threat and will do everything without power to protect those forces and will not hesitate to defend ourselves against the mining actors so you know I was just reading this whole long article uh, right here from Al Monitor you know and um, and you know the Iran linked military calls for uh, thousands of volunteers to fight the US forces and and the thing about it is you know the United States said, you know they still gonna remain there in Iraq even if it is the uh, the you know the December thirty first uh, transaction, you know, and I'm gonna bring out a scripture right here for this right here. And this is the book of Joel, chapter three, verse ten. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pretty hooks into spears. Let the weak say I'm strong. You know, these are uh, the Iran backed military group. You know, they call for support. You know, they have uh, support for uh, men to like join their uh, their faction group. If this report is fully true, if this article is on point and fully accurate, you know, if this is true, you know, that shows you uh, indications in the book of Joel 3 and 10 of this uh, article, you know, that I just read about, you know, it says that the weak say I'm strong, you know, which is this Iranian linked military group calls for this thousand of uh, volunteers to fight the U.S. forces, you know. You know, and these other nations saying, you know, you know, we are not afraid of uh, North America no more of their military. You know, we want them out of our, uh, you know, we want them out of our country. You know, we don't want them to build no more uh, stationed military bases there no more. You know, you know, we just want the United States completely out of there by the deadline of December 31st, you know. And if they don't comply to that, you know, uh, that's what they call for right here, you know. They ask it for armed factions groups, which is the Iran linked military, calls for thousands to volunteer against the, you know, fight the U.S. forces. And it goes back to and correlates to Joel 3 and 10, you know. Beat your plowshares into swords and penny hooks, into spears, and let the weak say I'm strong, right? You know, the, these, these nations are starting to say, you know, we are strong, you know, we are not weak no more. We put off that weak nature and, you know, we put in that, that strong in mind, you know, with these militaries, uh, missiles, capability, the hypersonic missiles, you know, these military drills and exercises. You know, these nations are gearing up for war just in case, if possible, something goes down for their protection of their people, you know. And these other nations are stirring up against the other ones as well, too. You know. And, you know, that's why um, I brought this article out and it kind of caught my attention. I'm like, let me do a little quick lesson on this article right here, you know. And this is something right here. If this article is true and if it's accurate and on point, you know, and this and, and this makes sense too because and you would thought like, man, you know, Iran got 
got uh, allies and ties like that, <laughs> you know, especially in the Middle East like that, you know. You would think like the United States got more allies than Iran. I mean, probably they probably they do, but you know, you know, after hearing this report right here about the Iran military link groups, and then Iran, they got some uh, Iran uh, back uh, allied groups is in Syria as well too. So you know, and then you got uh, Russia, Russia groups, their air force over there. Along with uh, Israeli over there as well too, and the Turkey back allies as well over there as well too, you know. And there's a lot of activity going on over there in the Middle East over there in the Syrian border, the Lebanon and the Syrian border as well too, you know. Now over here in Iraq, you know, Iran got a linked military ally back group right here. You know, they uh, calling for thousands of uh, volunteers uh, over there in Iraq. You know, they want them to join the Iran-backed military group. That's why they uh calling a thousands, a thousands and thousands of people to, you know, help them volunteer of, uh, to fight the U.S. forces. They got their uh, military bases and, and stations there. You know, they want the United States uh, military group. They want them up out of there by the, uh, you know, by the December 31st. You know, if they don't meet that deadline, you know, it's going to be possible consequences for that. You never know, you know. And this correlates to the book of Job at the end too. You let the weak say, I am strong, you know. You're starting to see that in these last days. And you're starting to see more and increase, like I mentioned before in all my previous videos. You know, you're starting to see more increase of uh, uh, the wars and rumors of wars. Uh, the second war was passed. Behold, the third war coming quickly. And the nation should rise against nation. You know, you start to see that increase and more and two. It's going to intensify. It might not be fully intensified right now, but it's building up and increasing in these last days of these nations should rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom as well, too. Earthquakes in diverse places, up worlds of the people. You know, you're seeing these things, you know. Uh, famine, pestilence, you're going to see increase of that as well, too. Throughout the whole planet Earth, you know. And um, bring out another scripture to close it out. And uh, this is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 7. And when and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, you know, like I mentioned before. Be not troubled, for such things must need be right. Because, you know, all these prophecies must need be to come to pass. You know, it says, but the end should not be yet right. Because, you know, you got more uh, prophecies are coming up, more upcoming pending prophecies. And you see current prophecies right before your eyes as well, too. And right before our eyes, you know. As well, too, you know, you're seeing these things unfold and unravel uh, throughout the whole planet Earth, you know. Like I mentioned before, the uproars of the people, you know, they should not regard their kings nor their princes, their political figures or their leaders, uh, their power leaders that's in their respectable countries. You know, you're seeing them doing the uproar protests and of that, you know, they're going against their uh, political figure leaders or the person that's in power of their you know, their respectable country, seeing that, and earthquakes in diverse places, now you're starting to see earthquakes on a consistent basis, an increase of uh, 4.8, 4.9, 5.2, 5.7, 6.1, 6.4, uh, uh, 7.1 of increase of uh, earthquakes in diverse places throughout the whole planet Earth, you see that as well too, you know. So, you know, these are the uh, signs of the times we were living in, you know, and we've seen more signs of things like this, you know, you're going to expect to see more upcoming signs of pending upcoming prophecies as well, too, in the days ahead that we are living in. So with that, you know, I wasn't going to do this lesson too long, you know, so I just wanted to do this a little quick sit down lesson of this article right here by, you know, which it was published by OutMonitor.com. Uh,
And I hope this is, you know, might be a reliable source, you know, for good information on news articles and stuff like that. And so with that, I would like to give all praise and glory to Tiki Ahava Bashem, Ahava Shad Bashem, Rakar Kadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, uh, preaching his word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. Until next time, I will say Shalom.